Hey guys, um, you won't believe what we just found. I mean, it's really, really rare and it's it hasn't really been seen for a very long time. So, we found this. Hey, what's up guys? Hey everyone! Welcome to episode 2 of season 2. Uh, today what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be exploring this. Uh, we're currently in a naturally occurring valley. It's called Settlers Valley um, and it's a nature reserve. So it's full of in, uh, plants that are indigenous to this region and to South Africa. It's very beautiful down here and there's like a lot of bird life. Uh, we're right next to, just behind us is the river. Yeah, um, and that, there. yeah, and, <laughs> and so that river runs all the way to down to the harbour. So what we intend on doing is exploring this trail and actually coming out by the harbour area. So we're going to see, um, we've never been all the way down there, so we're going to see what we find, if there's anything interesting. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to see what we come across and it should definitely be, a, we, we might go off the trail a little bit as well, because yeah. most people don't do that. So we're going to go off the trail and just generally explore the area and see what to come across. Hopefully you find something interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. so cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's like a bit of a bit of a different one, sort of a nature hike. So yeah, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and let's see what we get, let's see what we find. And if you guys got any questions or anything, um, comment in the comment section below. And yeah, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, always subscribe. thumbs up, <laughs> like, please subscribe <laughs> like you guys have been doing. Awesome. So yeah, let's go and see what we get. Cool, let's go. Yeah. Here's the first bridge crossing. That's actually quite cool, eh? Yeah. I was walking the dog here once. Uh huh. And he stood on the wall. He didn't realize how deep the water was. <laughs> Stepped off and it fell into the water. Quite horrified. Some steps. I think it goes up into. Well, this is old. These are old steps, eh? These are still stoned. Yeah. Stone, stone steps. Yeah, it goes into the. Top neighborhood. Okay. Yeah, this blue gun still has a little bit of light here. Yeah. Not, not the they, they didn't manage to kill it. Yeah. So, yeah, Jason, you mentioned earlier that over here, as you guys can see, um, just inform them exactly what you said to me about this. Tell them what the way that they kill the trees is that they just make these. Uh, incisions into the tree and it actually it actually kills the whole tree just by doing that yes, and they they might pour some type of solvent or something into the the cuts that they make and then it kills it off yeah but i think it gradually gets it drains down gets absorbed by the roots into the whole tree so at least they don't actually destroy the the look at stuff they just kill it off it actually so. looks quite nice eh, with, with these dead trees some something about it looks yeah it doesn't see it actually uh, actually makes the valley something, you know, gives yeah. a personality. Yeah. <laughs> the birds can still perch in it. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> what do you read in there? Some of the plants have these signs on that tell you what uh, what type of tree it is. This is a dune false current. Yeah, it has the botanical name. Alephalus decepiens. <laughs> Decepticons. Sounds sort of like, like deception. <laughs> yeah. Like it's false. It's like a false current. So. Huh. Yeah. And then also in these other other uh, decepticons. Yes, I guess. All such. So yeah. So some of the trees you'll see little signs on because these are reserves. So I guess they uh, made an effort to make people aware of what certain species of. Yeah. I like that about about the 
these reserves that they actually they name the trees and stuff so it's more for educational purposes you know yeah. and people are aware of what plants and trees they have and they yeah exactly there's a little bridge as well over here uh, it goes across the other side it's more bushy that side so hopefully we can actually cross over there for a little bit yeah let's take a look actually the spring well bridge was sponsored by this company maybe spring well Okay, you can see the water. And take a duck. Not quite deep enough to jump off. No, you'll break your knees down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other side. Yeah, look at these reeds, eh? Yeah, we're gonna probably see a lot of birds now. Yeah. You can see some moss on the water over there growing over. What's that? I'm uh, not sure. It looks like mint almost, but it's not. It doesn't smell like anything. Weed, I guess, but it looks like mint. Hmm. Smell the water like that sort of old mossy smell. Look at this. That's the same type of plant actually, just the flowers that it gets. Yes. Okay, the blue guns on this side are also at least some dead ones, but some are fully alive. What do you see? Looks like a dead Oh. But I was just seeing, yeah. Ooh. Looks like a little. But it's full of vines and stuff, so. They wouldn't be very easy to get through. You want to go take a look? How will we get back? I suppose we can just. Oh, we should come back up here. Walk out and go anywhere else. Go to a dead end. Yeah. Let's go take a look, see. I mean. I think it just goes through. So it's down yeah. here. Take that. Is there any way in there or? Uh, we'll have to um, crawl, I think. See. No, look, we can actually make it through. Can we? Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a I think so. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad place to stay. I mean, <sighs> okay. I think the worst thing is like about these kind of things. Everything like gets caught, you know. Yeah. Grab the camera. while we do exploring guys for you yeah, I'm pretty sure any people that usually go through there are vagrants people that live here probably sometimes or yeah. sleep here sometimes oh this is this that moss I showed everyone about in the water Uh, I'll show, show some people the water there. 
Let's see what it looks like. There you go for a swim swim. There we go. There's the water. Oh, I think it was biting there. There's the river over here. All that moss on the surface. There's a little bit of clear water. Not that, No. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a bit of a dead end, so we'd have to ju either jump and swim in the river or turn around and head back the way we came. But I think we'll go for the latter and just go back the way we came because I don't really feel like swimming now. In close. Just turn around quickly, bro. I want to see. Uh, I thought I saw like spiderwebs and shit there. Oh. Okay, let's get back. It'll be easier to find out here, I think. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Watch that branch. <laughs> I'm about like taking every single tree with me. Yeah. Oh. The ground's collapsing. Okay. Yeah. It's difficult with the camera. Get the camera. Yeah. You can hold on to the <laughs> tree, trees and stuff, taking it out of your way. Yeah. Fighting through the thick bush. Wow. They expect it to be yeah. like that bunny. What is this? What? Whatever this thing is, it bites. A mosquito or something. It looks different though. Oh. But it bites. It's be careful of malaria. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey guys, um, you won't believe what we just found. I mean, it's really, really rare. And it's it hasn't really been seen for a very long time. So... But we found this. This is now, if, if um, for some reason, during a survival time, there's no access to chickens. You've got this egg tree. So this is actually, it actually grows eggs on it. Um, and you can use it just the same as chicken eggs. You can boil, fry, poach. Um, and it's actually very useful. Especially when you're in the wild and you need, and you need nutrition. Yeah. You can just find these egg trees here in, the, in these type of valleys. So guys, if you, if, yeah, so if you guys are in the kind of valleys like this and you need food and sustenance and protein, um, just find yourselves one of these um, egg trees. Yeah. And you guys should be fine, eh? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of that is a lie. <laughs> it's not really an egg tree. What are these? Are like spores or something? I'm not, I'm, I think it's the seed pods. I don't, want, I don't want to break because I don't destroy it. in here as well. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm not too sure how that works, actually. Pretty cool. Oh, dude, what's that down there? Wow. Okay, look at this man-made structure. <laughs> yeah. Another little crossing. I recommend you walk on the top. Yeah, I think so. Look at that, yes. The water is quite clear actually. Yeah. yeah. I, I think if you, if you boil it, you'd be able to drink it, for sure. You reckon? Yeah. This is not, there's not really any particles in it, but I mean, at least if you boil it, then it would kill any bacteria. There's no chemicals in it. Yeah. It, it doesn't really stink, there's no pleasant smell either. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like sewer water or anything like that, so... I mean, I, I think if you, if you swam, if you swam in here... Yeah. It wasn't bad. What? Like a lot of furry snakes. <laughs> Reminds me of... What? That hormone monster. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys... What's that show called? Big Mouth. Okay guys, if you haven't um, seen Big Mouth, you should guys go take a look at it. It's a very good <laughs> series to watch. What is this? It's like a generator or something. Or electricity. I don't... Oh, but there's pipes, it's got something to do with this, it's like a pump uh, water. This green pipe runs all the way down there, 
but there's really water flowing, so. Uh, but I think no, but I think they pump water out. Okay. For some reason. Let's see if we. I don't think we can get in there. It's locked. Electrified. Yeah. I don't know where they come, but it doesn't look like this is really in use. Yeah. It looks old and broken. It doesn't look like anyone attempted to get in, there's no holes or anything. Yeah, it looks... I wonder if it is, if the electricity is broken. I mean, it looks old, dude, because look at all the, 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 the fine, and the vine, the vine, the vine, the vines that's going on there, the fence and everything. Yeah. So, I mean... At some point, this was definitely a pump. Yeah. Pump water out. I don't know if it's still active. Well, uh, there's no pump running out, it's all your material. Yeah. Okay, are we gonna go up here or are we gonna go down there? No, we're gonna head this way, continues forward. Alright, great. Okay, let's go ahead to the direction towards the most likely to make that down. Yeah. Look at this path, dude. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can actually just smell nature, you know, when you're out of the city and stuff, you can just smell the freshness. Yeah. It's amazing. Check the <laughs> what the what what was that? Was that you? Yeah. Oh my word, I was like, what the hell was You know what it sounded like? Oh. Sound like a What did you think it was? I don't know, like a bird or something. It's like you know like some seagulls make that that, that sound. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That was quite cool. Very unexpected sounds. But be careful not to grab one of them then can cut you because I know sometimes the fibers on the leaf are in the in this area you can see luries. Uh, grey lurries. Grey lurries. Yeah, they've got under the red underneath their wings. Yeah, I think we saw grey grey lurries at the Van Sarens Bridge, yeah, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you can see them there as well. Oh yeah, guys, if you haven't seen um, um, season one's videos and some of the things we mentioned, um, just check in the comments below, guys. Um, we've added some um, stuff in the um, links in the description, so you guys can check out some more videos out there. Yeah, it's really interesting videos. Yeah? The way that it grows. And it's still alive. Dude. It's, it's up oh my gosh. But it's like just floating here. Looks like an anaconda, eh? Yeah. My and then it, God. Uh, it grew somehow from down there. But it's still, the tree is still healthy. Yes, it's growing nicely too. Yeah. Uh, yes. Wow, it's a very, very awesome area this, eh? Yeah. So much natural. What's up there? Think we can get there? Yeah, I think so. Let's go take a look. Oh, it's yeah, I know it is steep, but it's not impossible to climb. Ah. Uh. Careful of the old branches and logs and stuff like that. Yeah. Look at this, it's like remnants of a wall here. Yeah, that's what I saw just now, dude. I was like wondering what it was. So it looks like it was. I don't know if it was a structure or what. Maybe. Climbing, climbing for the soul. All right, have fun. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, really? Oh, 
Yeah, it is very thick. Yeah. See if we can find a way around. <sighs> what? A wasp nest. The old one. You see? Just... Fell must have fallen down from the trees somewhere. It's not focusing in there. Is it focus? Yeah. Wasp nest. That's pretty cool. Well, a disused one anyway. A disused wasp nest. It's an abandoned one. We can explore it. Okay. It's abandoned, so we should explore it. Actually. Yeah. But yeah, it's the first thing for ourselves down. Yeah. Or die and reincarnate as what? <laughs> but I think I think sinking ourselves down will be easy. Yes, these vines are wrapping around everything. Oh. <laughs> they are strong. I see why. I forgot this one is very easy. I see why. Oh, then can swing on this. Yeah, exactly. They don't look strong, but they are. <laughs> suspend elements from me. Uh, elements, <laughs> elephants from vines. Elements, <laughs> At night, so at night when they hung down, they glowed, they glowed in the dark. <laughs> that would be interesting, actually. Yeah. Well, you could do it yourself, I guess. Yeah. Too much of a thing. Vine, old tire. You see a tire in its natural habitat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how it got here. Uh, Maybe when they... No idea. I don't, I don't want to begin to even explain. See this broken tree in front of us? Look. Oh, there you are. Yeah. yeah. This must be a heavy wind, eh? To pull this thing from the roots. Yeah, was it just dead? Was it just dead? Already in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these berries growing on this tree. Dude, check it out. So they come from this oh, tree. Yeah. It looks like a lot of either mini. It actually looks like mini little apples. balls of salami. Salami balls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, what is this? What the inside looks like. It's like a lot of seeds and stuff in it. Wasn't it focusing? Wow. Oh. That's cool, eh? I don't know what it. Oh, there's actually maggots in here. There's, look in there. There's little worms or maggots. Can you see it? Oh, I'm trying to see now. I'm aware I can see them moving. Yeah. <laughs> that is freaky, dude. Because a fly flew out of here, so I think it's maggots. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> okay, so this is further than I've been on the path before. Okay. So I don't know what to expect now. Yeah, now, because yeah. now we're going basically into the actual valley itself, the official part of it, where it's like more of a, a rough kind of walk. And try to say it too. Very hard one to get into the sun. Yeah. This is like this is like the last opening. Before if you've watched um really pitch pitch black. Uh -huh. That planet crematoria. Where when the sun comes up everyone has to hide behind cliffs and go into caves and stuff, otherwise yeah. everything just gets vaporized. <laughs> That's what the sun is like, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, because we've been in the bush for so long. This looks like uh, actually a car park. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because like, we're going to go down here. That plant smells weird now. Can you smell that? It's like a citrus smell, actually. Citrus makes with a bit of dog shit. <laughs> 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 what a combination, bro. Mmm, citrus dog shit. Aroma available. Your nearest retail outlet. <laughs> So it looks, we have some dumb, like we had symbols underneath the side. I'm not too sure what this one is. Maybe here on the far left. Then there's a pentagram. A hail Satan where the A is an anarchy sign. 
That's ironic. <laughs> Egyptian. I'm not sure what this one is. See, that's an Egyptian one, eh? That one is. Yeah. This one I'm not sure. There's an infinity sign in it, with it. And then there's the Star of David, the Jewish sign. And I'm not going to love it. Douglas. That's interesting. Maybe Morgan and Douglas did it all. Maybe. Okay guys, so we're going to be walking back to uh, a section where we can actually cross over to the river. Yeah, but it's something that caught our eye, so we just want to see if we can go and get across to that side. To the, to the other side of the river, over, like beyond that. So, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. What is this dude? Look at all the graffiti and stuff. Yeah. For yourself, yeah, we must step here and stuff. Yeah, all of must definitely live here. Yeah, it is Marilyn Monroe. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, that's so weird. Actually. Oh, it looks like it was a stencil. Yeah. And the tiger at the end there. Oh, that's cool. PDG. Yes, sir. There's pretty much no more power. Yeah. Give me a we're gonna have to walk up onto the road and then down to get to that side. Yeah. How how we're gonna get that side? We definitely won't go all the way. I don't think we can walk all the way to the other. We'll take a look. We'll see what's on what's on the other side and we can see how far we can go. Yeah, there's a path ends here yeah, on this side. Yeah. So Hey guys. So now uh, check out notice where oh if you've watched this episode in season one. We've now walked all the way through the valley and we've come out here, which the harbour is right here behind us. Yeah, um, and then which is where we where we went into that boat. And then this is St. Mary Cemetery, so we're actually back here again. Check out guys, St. Mary Cemetery as you guys saw. But we didn't have to climb in because now that it's daytime it's actually it's sort of open hours. Yeah. So you can view we're technically allowed to be here. Yeah. So we're just gonna take a quick squeeze the brick browser around here and just see if anything's changed. Yeah. Or if we see anything interesting laying around. Yeah. That's Maybe good. like a skull of a human. <laughs> Maybe. Let's go take a look. Over here. That's his guy. So we saw this walking back. There she is. The wonderful grave. Obviously the, the top of the grave is broken off. And here's um, why we couldn't find these easily because it's actually laying down on yeah. its face. So looking all the way around, there's no way we would have spotted this. But then here too, so if we stand here. Well, here's the tree that we saw. This is the tree. But which is the wall? That wall. The distant one. Must be the distant yeah. one with the chapel. I just so, the picture was taken. Yeah. But this is definitely so it. So we're going to take a picture. We're I gonna, wish we could get it up though. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you guys the picture um, on the side of the screen. And so basically that's what it looks like. And this is where we are. So yeah. it's definitely this one. So, but yeah, this is definitely Francis McLeland. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically now guys, now we can actually go back the way we came and yeah. we successfully found it and I feel better as well. <laughs> <laughs> now we can say we're gonna take a hike back yeah. through the valley again up to the pass. Yeah, so but yeah, at least we found the stone. <sighs> yeah, so I'm happy about that. Must be sold. Alright, yeah, cool. Yeah. So we'll check you guys in a while. See you guys just now. If we don't get mugged and horrifically murdered on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that you saw Settlers Valley, we did a full exploration. We started almost from the beginning of the valley and walked all the way through to the harbour area. Uh, and we went into St Mary's Cemetery again and found um, Reverend Francis McClellan's tombstone. And it actually ended up, um, we didn't see it immediately because it was actually lying down flat on its face. But we saw a picture online so we kind of searched everywhere for it and then we did find it eventually and then uh, so we've hiked all the way back now to where we parked and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and found uh, what we saw interesting as well yeah guys I'm really awesome
it's uh, it's quite now. Yeah, that was quite a hike back. <laughs> uh, yes, because we were hiking up uphill all the time. So. Yeah, it was quite challenging, but uh, we made it. Even through the dodgy parts, we didn't get mugged or murdered, so, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah, that's was good. All right. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please give yes. it a like as usual and subscribe if you're new as well. And uh, thanks for the awesome. guys' continued support. Cool, guys. Thanks, See you guys. on the next one.